I'll show you how to make this virtual business card with a free QR code and when someone scans that QR code, it's automatically going to save your information in their phone. That means you can easily share your name, email, phone number, and website easily to someone you just met. Plus, there's hundreds of free business card templates for you to choose from. Let's get started and show you just how easy it can be. Scroll down to the description of this video and click the first link. So this is going to open up Canva.com. Now, the good news is there's a paid version and a free version of Canva. The free version has everything we need to create a digital business card but at the bottom you can also see you can create posters logos presentations you can essentially design anything you want using canva so what we're going to do is click the sign up button on the upper right here you're going to be able to sign up by using a gmail facebook or email now i found the best way to use canva is to simply just search what you're looking for so we're going to go up to the search bar up here and type in business card and let's click the first one awesome so this brought up a bunch of templates for us to choose from now something to note digital business cards in my opinion look way better when they're vertical right most of these are going to be shared on a cell phone, on a badge. So for our purposes today, we only want to see those vertical templates. So what we're going to do is go up and select Canva templates on the upper left, then click all filters. And under this formatting option, let's click business card portrait. And now we're only going to see vertical images that work really well for what we're designing today. Now, something really important to note here is some of the templates in the bottom right is going to have this crown that says pro. That means it's a Canva pro template and isn't available in their free version. So what I like to do is find a template that doesn't have the crown and that means it's a free template for us to use so let's go ahead and scroll down here until we find a template that we like let's choose this one and go ahead and start designing it. awesome so this brought up the canva editor so on the editor we're going to easily start changing some of this information to be our information for instance we can easily change the name by double clicking and just typing your name so joe zeppelin you can even change the role right underneath it so let's double click that and let's put real estate agent now something i really like to do is center this normally a qr code is in the center of a digital business card so let's go ahead and drag the left side of joe to the left the right side to the right and go ahead to the top and realign it to the center then we'll do the same thing with the roll so left side right side center perfect and then let's even grab this little line right here and drag it to the middle great now you'll see in the middle there's a spot to add our profile picture so we got to get our photo in that circle so what you're going to want to do is scroll to the left side and click uploads and then at the top click upload file and you're just going to be able to add any picture from your computer so let's go ahead and select this one and then we're just going to click it drag it and drop it into that circle awesome then you can double click to recenter it if you want to do any minor adjustments awesome so this is starting to look really professional now we have to make space for our digital business card at the bottom you'll see they have other contact information but that's the contact information that someone's going to get when they scan the qr code so we don't necessarily need it on the business card that's where we should put the qr code so what we're going to do is just select one of these select delete same thing with the second one and i'm going to fast forward this real quick but you can delete each one of these awesome so now we have a bunch of space for our qr code now it's going to look just a little boring if only the qr codes in the middle so what i recommend doing is spicing up your template a little bit but just adding some simple features to do that go ahead and go to elements on the left side go ahead and search what you're looking for so let's go ahead and put green plants in those graphics here you can go ahead and select to see all and then we have a bunch of options to so go ahead and click one drag it onto our screen then we can resize it and let's go ahead and put that in the corner now let's grab another one for the top left corner scroll down let's select this one bring it to the middle resize it and now we're putting that on the upper left and now we have a very centralized location to put that qr code on our template now what we get to do is actually go create that free qr code as well as all the information someone gets when they scan the qr code so to do that go ahead and click the second link in the description this is going to bring up linktree.com linktree was recently partnered with tiktok to bring more audience to content creators and it's an incredibly useful tool so what you're going to want to do is go ahead and click the sign up for free button on the upper right and here you're going to be able to sign up by using an email google or apple now you have to give your QR code and your link tree a name. So I just put what I'm creating. So let's just do J Zeppelin real estate just for now. You can change this at any time. And perfect. So this is going to bring up our link tree editor. So on the left side, you're going to see all the different information you can share about yourself when someone scans your QR code. And then on the right side, you're going to be able to see what this looks like on their phone when it's scanned. So you'll see you have the option to update your name here. So instead of J Zeppelin Real Estate, let's go ahead and update the name to just be Joe Zeppelin. And then you can also update the bio for what you're trying to display about yourself. So let's put built on trust 
proven by service and let's click save. And now you'll see on the right side, this automatically populated to what someone's gonna see on their cell phone. Same thing with the profile photo. Let's go ahead and go to the profile photo edit button, select upload your own image. And here, let's go ahead and drag another image from our computer. Let's go ahead and center it and then save it. Awesome, so now you're gonna see this is updated on the right side. Now underneath this, let's go ahead and include all the information you wanna share about yourself. So what I like to do is go ahead and click this add button. Here at the bottom, you can see you can add your Instagram, TikTok, YouTube. If you wanna make this look really professional, simply just search what you want to add. So we wanna add contact information. So let's go ahead and search contact. And this one here says contact details, easily share downloadable contact details. That's what we're looking for. So let's go ahead and select add. So now we get to start entering some of our information. So let's go ahead and update our name. So let's do Joe, last name Zeppelin. Here you have a spot to add your occupation and your position. Then you can add your email. So let's make it a work email and add our email. We can add a phone number and put the phone number here. And then if you scroll down, you can see you can add other information like address, opening hours, things like that. But for the purposes for today, let's just add those simple features up top. Now on the right side, you'll see we still have this contact button, but it looks incredibly bland. So we really wanna make this pop. So what you wanna do is go ahead and select the layout. And instead of using this classic button, go ahead and select featured. Trust me, this is gonna look super cool. So once you select that, click add thumbnail. Choose a photo that you think looks really nice. Then on the right side, you'll see that this is gonna go in this rectangle spot. So let's select the rectangle up top. We'll resize it and again, select save. Great, so this added our contact information on the right side. So this photo looks really nice, but what doesn't look really good is it says contact details and that doesn't really trigger anyone to pick up the phone and call you. So what I like to do is let's change the text from contact details to something that's more action oriented. So let's put phone number, here to help. This looks a lot more friendly for someone to actually pick up the phone and call you once they have your information. And then when someone selects that button, you'll see they'll automatically see your name, your role, the company you work for, your email, your phone number. They can easily select this button and it's gonna save your contact information in their cell phone. Or they can go ahead and select the share button if they wanna share your information to somebody else. Now you'll see at the bottom, we have one more placeholder for another link that we can add to our link tree. Here you can put websites, you can put Google reviews, anything you want someone to learn about you. For the purposes for today, we're gonna to go ahead and select add and do Google reviews. So let's go ahead and type in again, Google reviews. This one, reviews showcase your Google reviews, perfect. So let's go ahead and select add. Then at the bottom, you have to add the URL for your Google reviews. So let's go ahead and paste this in here. Again, on the right side, you'll see it's shown, but it has that basic traditional layout. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and update the layout by going down and selecting featured, add thumbnail, and then add a photo that goes with what you're talking about. So we're gonna add this Google reviews photo crop it to size and go ahead and select save. Awesome, now on the right side, you'll be able to see the Google reviews button has been added. And now at the bottom, you'll see we have one final spot to put any additional links we want someone to have about us. So you can see, you can add these at the top here. For instance, someone can easily select and email you. So go ahead and select the email button, add your email, select add. And now you'll see this little email icon was added at the bottom of our link tree. Now I'm gonna fast forward this as I go through and add a couple more for Facebook and YouTube. And while I do this, YouTube analytics shows that less than 1% of people who watch videos on the channel are actually subscribed. Since we release content every Monday on all things AI, business, and tech, go ahead and consider subscribing. You're simply just getting a notification like this one when we release a killer video on Buffer. Buffer is a social media post planner. It's free, it automates all of your social media posts. Not a sponsor, just a killer video and if you're interested in stuff like that hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out plus if you like the video so far hit that like button let us know in the comments it really helps the channel grow and let's get back to making this qr code and making you successful so the last thing is we just want to add a little color to the background of our link tree so what you're going to do go ahead and select themes on the upper right then find some colors that really give you inspiration so let's go ahead and click this gray one here it has a nice gradient from like light to dark colors. I think that looks really good. If you have a specific color you wanna choose for your business card, you can go ahead and choose that here. Let's leave it gray just for now. 
and then you also have the option to change some of these buttons that have a little more depth to them, have shadows, change the font, the font color, things like that. I normally don't mess around with any of this type of stuff except for the sharing preview. This one is really important. So when someone scans your QR code, they're going to get a preview on their phone prior to clicking it of what they're about to navigate to. And so this is the preview that shows on their phone. So go ahead and make sure this color looks good. So let's choose this gray one again. And this looks really good and professional. So now the best part is we have to generate that QR code. So on the top right, you can select the share button. You have the option just to copy the link, which is this one at the bottom. But for our purposes today, we want to create the QR code. So go to my link tree QR code, select this. And this step is really important. Most people recommend vector images, the SVG. You don't want to choose those because vectors you cannot put on Canva. So you're going to have to use a PNG. I've never had any problems with this. Just make sure you select that one. You'll see this is automatically downloaded onto your computer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go back to Canva. We have this open area here. And how do we add photos? We said we add photos by going to upload. So go to upload, scroll to the top, upload files. And now that we just downloaded this on most computers it's going to be in your download. So let's select downloads. It's this top one. You'll see it's downloaded here on the left side. And again, we're going to click it and we're going to drag it onto the middle of our screen. And oh my gosh, that looks giant. So let's go ahead and shrink that up a little bit, put it in the middle and recenter it. Awesome. So now we just have to download this digital business card. There's two ways to get this business card. One is you can print the business card. Uh, Canva has a printing service. This is not a free uh, application to use. So I personally don't use this, but it is available if you want to print these out and hand it out to people. What I always do is use the digital one, which is free. So go up to the share button on the upper right. Then a lot of people mess up here. You want to go to downloads. And then when you're in downloads, it recommends a PNG. PNGs get really pixelated depending on the smartphone that you use. So always select this JPEG option because JPEGs are best for sharing. So go ahead and select that one here. Select download. Now we'll go ahead and see it's downloaded onto our computer. Now the real question is, does it work? So what we're going to go do is go ahead and open up camera on your phone. Go ahead and scan it. And then you'll see it automatically opened up our link tree, which is really cool. And at the top, it has our phone number. So if you select that, it has all your information. They can save the contacts. It saves it in their phone. It's a really, really awesome tool. These two, they're both free. If you found this video helpful, my name is Joe Zeppelin. We make videos like this all the time. Please give us a like, comment, subscribe. It helps us a bunch. It helps the channel grow. It allows us to make more videos like this one in the future. And if you haven't checked out that video on how to optimize your social media with Buffer, you're missing out. So go check it out and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching guys. Talk to you soon.